Hello everyone, so today we're taking a look at a 2000 Sport Nautique 210. So there's not a lot of walkthroughs of this Sport Nautique on the internet, and I figured I would walk you through with the um, best info that I could provide. So taking a look at the boat, this is a 21 foot Sport Nautique. It's a sport boat, so you can not only ski behind it, but you can wakeboard as well. And that leads me into the ballast tank. So you can see on both sides of the rear part of the boat, there are ballast tanks that fill up. I believe total combined is 500 gallons, I wanna say, and uh, or 500 pounds. I believe it's 500 gallons on both uh they equal to both sides and uh that weighs the boat down so you can wakeboard looking back you have a nice teak deck behind you've got the four prop propeller four blade propeller of course the uh, uh rudder as well taking a look at this beautiful for the time uh white and blue design of the sport nautique hopping into the boat also actually i do want to point out this nautique does have the three rudders on the bottom of the boat so you can do power turns and uh that is quite fun to do so hopping into the boat here you're going to notice this particular engine has 250 hours on it we'll touch on that in a little bit the interior does need to be these three seats specifically need to be redone because of people stepping on them. And that's one flaw of this boat. There's really no good way to get into the boat from the back to the uh, cover on the back there and then down into the actual cabin. You have to step on the seats. So hence why they are ripped. But you get this nice area back here to lay on if you're just chillaxing and lounging. That is vinyl. And then you do have a really nice storage area back here that you can fit um, some wakeboards or some skis it is actually quite nice and then this area does come out as well along with that back cushion there and there you have a little bit of area to get to the uh, drive shaft and also the throttle or the steering cable which is over there looking around here you've got speakers on the sides as well you do have a little shower option, which I think is unique and pretty cool for hot and cold water. You can shower yourself off. I think that's pretty awesome. Everything is padded on the sides here. Of course, it is a 2000, so it is showing its age a little bit, but you do have ample speakers as well. A little storage baggie right there. And then some more space on the right side of the boat area to step on. You've got your ballast tanks here that you can fill on the starboard and the port side of the boat. A nice little 12 volt outlet. And now we take a look at this power plant. This is the Ford derived PCM 5.8 liter high output ProBoss GT40 V8 engine. So in this application, this is 310 plus horsepower so more than enough power to propel this boat up to about 50 miles an hour. And uh, it is a real thing of beauty. This is a great engine, and uh, you should definitely be looking for these 5.8 HOs, the GT40 in particular, when you're looking for a ski boat. So you've got more storage underneath there. There's a little bit of water in there as I just cleaned the boat. But you've got more storage for skis, water skis, underneath this Nicely put storage area. You've got the passenger seat, a little cooler here as well to store anything that you may want. That actually does drain. And then you've got more storage underneath the passenger seat, which right there we have a Rockford and Fosgate subwoofer. Definitely tons of storage though for anything that you may want put underneath there and of course looking at the cockpit itself you've got a really nice driver's chair that chair that does not swivel although it does go back and forth this has the rockford 
Fosgate audio that was it's aftermarket of course and uh you got all your buttons here nautique is push button start so you have your code and then you have all of your push buttons here to activate it your blower switch of course right there another 12 volt outlet your gauges here which for a 2000 look okay although the rpm and the miles per hour does need to be changed out eventually here because they are faded and then you've got the right side here which you've got more operations lights anchor lights navigation lights inside light shower 12 volt bilge everything that you may need and then you've also got this boat is equipped with the correct craft cruise so you've got perfect pass on this boat so you can essentially keep the speed perfect at all times then you've got your ballast tanks how much water is in there and then a little hummingbird depth finder as well and then a little rockford fosgate radio controller so pretty dang cool tons of room here as well and the steering wheel does tilt it does not telescope but it does tilt up and down so now jumping to the front of the boat this is why a lot of people like these sport or air nautiques you get this awesome walk through to the front and there is an optional cushion that i don't have in there right now and uh, this could be for one pe person or for two people, mm. but you can basically sit down and relax any way you want to. And if you have the center area filled in with the extra cushion that I do have, it is a perfect area for one person to lounge out in. But this is more than enough room for two people as well. If you wanna sit up in the front, you have your areas to grip onto and uh, you have a very large boat to look back on. So one thing I am always surprised at is how big ski boats actually are, are and uh, how big this Nautique is. Also, one other thing to point out, you have your vent right there to vent any sort of uh, moisture that may come upon the windshield. Nice little windshield cover right there. And last but not least, you have some tie-ups on the side for the boat. And you've got this fantastic audio system and uh, tower for wakeboarding as well. So it gives you a great option of wakeboarding or just regular skiing, which I think is pretty awesome. And uh, it looks like a very sturdy rig as well. More venting there. Cup holders. You can snap a cover on this part, although I did not get a cover when I bought the boat. And uh, that's about it. There's a walkthrough of a 2000 Sport Nautique 210. It's an awesome boat, spacious. You can do everything with it. It's the jack of all trades. It's the SUV of the water and uh, Tons of storage for everyone. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.